Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name is Dan. I'm here in the Philippines. Today is a knife day, and uh, got a couple couple knives here that are really real special to me. Um, this is a Marlin knife, Marlin spike knife. Okay, it opens up flat and goes. This goes out flat too. This is a really old Vulcan Marlin spike knife. This is one I got out of my grandpa's desk when he died back in the 90s. He was an old time sailor. This is very special. It's so used that the scales are almost worn off of it. It's from England, I believe. I'm not sure. Vulcan. I'm half blind. I can't really read it from here. Just, just that's a sentimental knife there. Now this, this is the first Marlin spike knife that I ever bought. This is a Camillus. You go on Amazon. There's about ten different kinds of knives you can buy. Camillus, Camillus sells several, several different kinds with different scales on them. There's a couple off brands that are. Uh, just a little cheap. This was about, I think, $35 or something like that. Um, I bought Camillus because I, I, I always thought Camillus was a fantastic brand or fantastic knife company. I've got a, uh, a USMC knife from World War II. It's actually it was used in the Korean War, but it was made in, in 1945 uh, on the K-Bar patent for the USMC knife, but it was made in the Camillus plant. Beautiful knife. Um, when I bought this, I didn't know I didn't know Camillus went bankrupt, and they sold out to some company, and all their knives now are made in China. I also have one of the Camillus Carnivore X knives, nice knife for what it is, but it has the titanium coated thing on it, titanium bonded blade, but it's all China stuff. Um, this this knife here is kind of cool because it has bamboo scales on it, which I thought was pretty neat when I when I ordered it. What's very strange about this knife, though, here's the strange part: is, is the blade has no, no snap in it whatsoever. It's a completely free floating blade, which feels really feels really funny. It feels kind of flimsy, but then it's got the liner lock on it, which most Marlin spike knives don't have. It's got a strange Marlin spike on it too. It's got a listen to the, the snap on that. It's a huge snap. This is the release on it for all Marlin knives. Um, this one is a needlepoint Marlin spike, which is very strange. Usually they're they're pointy, but usually has a round tip. This is nice for undoing knots and stuff like that. But this one's actually too sharp because if you're using it for using it as a, a fid or something, it gets in into the fiber of the rope too much. But it's but still 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 pretty cool. Now this is way better than one of the cheap knives. Here, that snap when it closes. This is way better than one of the cheap knives you'll see on Amazon. Ten dollar cheaper knife is an absolute piece of crap. This is at least solid sideways. Where the other knives you'll find are very weak on the any 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 sort of lateral pressure on them. But I'd highly recommend anything made by Camillus. The the, the original plant was in New York. Where they where they're made from now, I don't. They're made in, in China. Where their offices are, I don't know. The offices don't make any difference anymore. It's, it's just the name's been sold, so it's the sad thing about them. Okay, now here here's a very special one here. This is also a Marlin spike knife. Has the nice snap to it. This has. They all have the the sheep foot blade. And it goes down there and it's a straight flat edge. It's no good for skinning, but it's great for cutting. Great for cutting rope, cutting paper, boxes, wherever you're going to use it for. Absolutely fabulous. Also has a nice snap to it. Now this one has a nice solid lock snap to it too. This one has a, a very pointy end, but it's not needle point. It's just slightly rounded at the tip. But what's special about this knife, guys, is this knife was this knife was given to me by one of my viewers. 
a guy named George. Now George watched our videos here in the Philippines and he, he liked us and one day he just showed up, never heard of him before, never saw me before, he just showed up at the top of the at the top of our driveway. He yelled hello, I went out, invited him in the house, we became great friends. Um, later I introduced George to his, his wife and now they have a little daughter. He lives about two miles up the road on a on a about a three or four acre little farm area. Just wonderful guy. He's, he's retired here, very nice. But what's neat about that knife is, is George, when he graduated high school, as soon as he graduated high school, he went to Marine School and became a Merchant Marine. And he's was a Merchant Marine for his entire life until he came here to the Philippines. And the first thing that he had to buy when he was you know, working a deckhand or whatever, whatever you start out as, he had to buy a knife. And he bought this Camillus Marlin Spike knife. And he carried this with him through his whole entire career. And when he came here, after he went home to, to get his, you know, his, his affairs in before he came back to get married, he brought this knife back to me and gave it to me. It had a little bit of rust on it. It's got a little Cordova case for it, or whatever. I think originally it had a leather case for it, or whatever. But it's, it's very special. It's a very special knife when you when you get a knife that someone used their whole life. It's very special. And uh, I've got a few I've got a few different knives that people gave me their knives, and they, they bought a new knife, but they gave me their knife they had for for you know ten years or twenty years, or whatever. And this this was this was George's knife for forty years or longer, however long he was a, a, a seaman, long long time. So, thanks George, and thanks everybody for watching. If you want a, want a cool knife, Marlin Spike knives are neat. Just something different. Just just a regular just a regular pocket knife, except it has a spike on it. You know, that's the only difference on it. I, don't know, I, I think they're cool. I like I like anything from the sea myself that, that's uh, sea oriented. So, I guess hashtag 22 a day no more. Go out, have some fun. Watch your six real close. Be aware of what's going on all around you. Be extra careful on the water this year, guys, and around the water. Don't take things for granted. Appreciate what you have and the people around you. Please go visit Allie Carroll at her web channel and uh, enjoy her Friday Bacon Burn, Fatwood Fridays videos and all the other videos she does and all the things people she helps and and she gets in all kinds of different different things she's again she's just out there she's just a wonderful lady go out subscribe to her please and tell your friends and get them to subscribe to her too so that's all I have for now by all means be safe guys see you later